Good morning guys. Happy Tuesday. I am just working on editing my thumbnail for yesterday's Vlogmas video and um, the video itself is done and saving now so I'll be able to upload that and schedule it here shortly. It's about 6.42 a.m. I am currently starving but I cannot eat anything because I've got another injection today. Um, so I don't know how interesting this vlog is going to be. Maybe just another lazy lay on the couch watch Netflix kind of day. Depends on how I'm feeling. Um, but that's what's going on this morning. Robbie is currently getting ready to walk out the door for school. Robert James. Say good morning, buddy. Morning. Go back to bed. And Austin just woke up. Morning, Austin. Morning. Are you going to disobey me? He uh, usually doesn't have to wake up until about 7.15, but he woke up a little early this morning. That's fine. And, um, yeah, that's what's going on, so I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Too many times. So we are at the bus stop with Mr. Austin. I got Hobby here with me because uh, I got my injection appointment today and I cannot drive myself to that since I'm going to be sedated. Um, we head out as soon as Austin gets on the bus. My appointment's not till 9, but what we found with this place is if you get there early, they get you in early. So the earlier the better so my husband can get off to work. But i um, not sure exactly what type of injections I'm getting today. Uh, there were a couple of different things discussed with my doctor, so I'll find out when I get there. Hopefully they help work better than the last ones I got because the last ones didn't work at all. So um, we'll see. You making funny faces back there? You're goofy. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm home from my injection. I went, um, I had just a basic transferaminal injection today. There was a bit of a snafu with my paperwork. Uh, apparently I was supposed to have the radio frequency um, rosotomy today. That's where they go in and they burn the nerve that's causing the pain so that it can't send signals to your brain. Um, but for whatever reason, they did not have that on the schedule, so they did not get that cleared with my insurance. So I have to have that on Saturday instead. Uh, I already had an appointment Saturday where I was just supposed to get the transferaminal injection. So basically, they just flip-flopped them. So I had the transferaminal injection today. This is, I believe, the same injection I've had in the past. Basic um, light sedation, in and out, quick, 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 no problem. Um, I'm feeling... A lot of soreness at the injection site uh, that I don't remember from previous um, experiences but you know your mind works like that kind of blocks out some of the worst of it so I'm just gonna take it easy today have another kind of lazy day um, I do have to pick up Robert from he's got science club today so after school he'll go straight to science club and I'll have to pick him up at 315 but other than that I'm not doing anything I might do a little laundry or something I'm going to just kind of hang out and be lazy. I might do my monthly planning session for January and get that set up and film that. Um, I also want to film my um, mail love video, but once again, the sun's not coming out to play, so we'll have to see. Uh, I've already got my grocery haul that goes up tomorrow filmed and edited, so I just need to upload and schedule that. I don't yet have videos for Thursday and Friday, so I'll have to see what I can do there. Um, but for now, I think I'm actually going to just lay down and take a nap because I am feeling quite sore. I might take a Motrin. Um, my husband went off to work. Uh, um, he actually got called in last night about midnight and worked until 3.30 in the morning. And then poor guy had to get up this morning to take me to my appointment. So he's going to be pretty tired today, I think. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm just going to hang out, cuddle with my puppy here. Patchy. There she is. My camera work is very uh, professional today, can't you tell? But yep, yeah, that's the plan. Cuddle with my puppy, watch some Netflix, catch up on some YouTube, be lazy. Sounds good to me. Alright guys, well it is 2.15. Since I last checked in, basically the only thing I've done is take a nap. Um, my husband brought me home from my appointment 
went into work, discovered there was nothing going on at work, so he came home, and he went to bed. Because he was up until like 3.30 this morning working, and then he was back up, you know, by 7 to take me to my appointment at 8. So, um, <clears throat> he was pretty tired, and since there was nothing going on, he took advantage of it, came home, went to bed. I laid down with him. So I wasn't feeling all that great. Um, a lot of soreness I told you guys about. And we both slept basically till 2 o'clock. He's actually still sleeping. He's been kind of up and down. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I slept most of the day away. But um, I've gotten up now. Oh, there's his phone ringing. I guess he's going to work. Not bad. At least he had a chance to catch up on some sleep. Anyways, um, I'm up. I put jeans on, which is an improvement from the pajama pants that I wore to the appointment this morning. And I've got to pick up Robbie at 3.15 from his science club meeting. Um, I think I'm going to go to the post office. And then that's probably about it. And come home and then I'm thinking for dinner tonight I might order Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut does not deliver to us, but there's one that's super, not super far away. Um, so I could go and pick it up. It's also right nearby the Dollar Tree that I typically shop at. So I might just pick up the Dollar Tree items that I need tonight instead of going tomorrow. And that's one less thing I have to do tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. My well, yeah, that's what's happening. Sorry there hasn't been a super heck of a lot to share with you guys today. Um, that's what happens when you sleep most of the day away, I guess. All right, well, both the boys are home. I'm sitting in the car right now waiting on Eric and Austin to come out. We are headed out. I'm gonna run to Dollar Tree really quickly. Since um, I'm going to be right there picking up Pizza Hut, I figured I might as well grab what I need at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to run into Dollar Tree, then we're going to pick up Pizza Hut. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> and um, then we're going to head home and eat. So we all decided just to go as a family. I don't see so well um, in the dark to drive. So my husband was like, you know what, I'll just drive. Be easier. So that's what's happening. Going on a quick little family outing. And then I have one last stop I have to make tomorrow is dinner we have got a pepperoni pizza that's a pretzel crust on there pretty excited to try that out breadsticks chicken alfredo and supreme yum i love pizza hut do you guys like pizza hut so we went into dollar tree and i found some really cute stuff i found these cosmetic organizers for a buck i thought how could i go wrong we got a heart shaped one and just this flower shaped one i think these will be really nice for on my vanity and I also picked up this blender makeup sponge. I don't have high hopes for this, but for a buck, I figured it would work out okay. Kids are tidying up the kitchen a little bit, and then we are going to do our advent activity. If he put, put, a, bag in the, if he put a bag in the trash, that would be. He's working on it. Patience, guys. Come on. Patience is a virtue. Behave. I can't oh. be patient. I must eat this gingerbread man. Hello. I'm gonna call you because he has a little message for you. Press one to speak to him. Come here, Austin. Hello, are you there? Can you hear me? Hello. Oh, hello, Austin. <gasps> I bet you're surprised to hear me, aren't you? Oh, yes. Yes, it's me, Santa Claus. Did you know that my elves keep me informed about you, not just around Christmas time, but during the entire year? Yeah. Go ahead and get back to work. Hello? Hello. Calling from the North Pole. Santa asked in the phone because he has a little message for you. Press 1 to speak to him. Hello? Are you there? Can yeah. you hear me? 
Yes. Oh, hello, Robert. This is Santa calling. Oh, oh, oh. How are you, my friend? Good. 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 I'm very happy I was able to reach you. I wanted to talk to you because I heard some impressive news. You did? My old speaker tells me that you worked really hard in school and you've been doing quite well. What a big boy. We're all very proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Mika says he wishes he could do as well as you do in school. <laughs> Robert, you can be certain Santa won't forget all your efforts when Christmas comes. I must be going now. Keep up the good work. Ho, ho, ho. Goodbye. Hi. Well, wasn't that Wait. nice? I was gonna get his number. Well, wasn't that nice? Yes. Santa recognized that you've been working harder in school. They never called me. I was gonna you get his number. You guys are lucky boys. I was gonna call him back. Yeah. All right, we are going to read Advent Day 15, and I think my turn. Austin's turn. It is my turn. All right, go ahead, buddy. Yes, no, I didn't. Hey. You didn't? No. Hey. Robbie, sit up right, buddy. Don't put your elbow on the table. Okay. All right, Austin, what does it say? Day 15, Christmas coloring pages. I already colored some, okay. Now listen, I actually printed out special pages for both of you. Mm -hmm. okay. We're gonna color them really nicely. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put them in frames and hang them up. Yeah, that's what the two frames are for. So I will go get them because they're very special and I've also got a little gift for you guys. Don't get super excited. All right, you guys got your eyes closed? Yes. All right. Well, I can't see because my eyes are shut. Here we go. Can we open? Can we open? Yes. So for you guys to use for your pages. Pencils. Oh, they're... They're erasable and the erasers are the same color as the marker. And I printed out <coughs> this one. I want that one. For Austin. Oh. And I printed out this <gasps> one what? for Robbie. What, you guys like the other ones better? Yeah. No, I want that one. Okay. Just telling I'll you that's not true red. That's orange red. I don't like that dark. Look. Do a little test spot right here on your envelope or something. This is original red. That's orange red. Put that one on. They look the exact same. No. I like the orange red better. These feel weird. Have I ever used a colored pencil before? Just do it nice and neat, okay? So I'm gonna start. a little bit longer than what I originally anticipated because they really took their time but look at how beautiful these pictures that they colored turned out. This one's Austin's and I love that he added a little window and a flower pot in the background. So sweet. Some of the sun in it. You might not be able to see but see that little bit of yellow? That's supposed to be the star ends. It might have rubbed off a little. It's beautiful. And Robbie's, he added, you can't see because of the glare, he added glitter glue to the snowflakes to make them sparkle. How beautiful are they? I am so excited about this. And now we can hang these and keep them for every year. Good job, you guys. And now I think they are getting ready to go to bed. So, say goodnight. Say goodnight. Good night, but I'm not going to bed yet. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.